so much news in one epic video. <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All oh, right. OB1 plays. is going on everybody <laughs> how are y'all doing we have a couple of dope 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 gaming news items for this video but before we get started you already know give the video a huge thumbs up let's get over 200 likes for this video do it right now also giveaway you already know we're giving away mario strikers battle league next month next month june is right around the corner can't wait can't wait did you play the demo yet the demo is pretty epic all right we have so much news and we're gonna cram it into one 10 minute video the first news item if you do not have Nintendo Switch online services, you're on the fence, or if you know someone with the Switch that wants to try out the service, today is your lucky day. Because Nintendo is offering the service for free as a Memorial Day treat. According to this article, Tomsguy.com, it says to start your free Switch online trial, just grab your console, head to the Nintendo eShop, through the home menu, <coughs> select the account you want to use, then press Nintendo Switch Online on the left side of the screen, and then press Free Trial from the banner along the top of the squid, the stream, the st stream, the screen, <laughs> and follow the prompts. So, Nintendo Switch Online. I think you have a if you have a Switch, it's essential. The price point is a lot cheaper than what the competition is offering, and you get those free games every month. <coughs> Nintendo focuses more on the retro games, which I like, but they do drop surprises like Mario 35, um, Tetris Online, uh, the Mario Kart DLC. You still gotta pay for the, the that expansion pack, but it's exclusive to online members. Most recently, we've gotten the Mario Strikers demo and so forth. And so I really, I'm pleased with Nintendo Switches. Um, online game service, not their overall services. They still need achievements, Nintendo. Where is my dead horse? I beat, I beat this to death so many times. Uh, whatever, hey, there it is. I'm beating it to death, that's right. We always find a way to talk about those achievements. We beating that dead horse, come on Nintendo. Step your game up. Those platinum points, um, starting up a game, yada yada yada, I want in-game real achievements, bro. All right. So that's pretty dope, but the news continues to go and get better. Speaking of Mario Strikers um, Battle League, Nintendo has let the ball slip. And, bro, there is a major data mine leak for Mario Strikers Battle League right now. And... The, according to this leak, this is coming from Dual Shockers. Data miners have leaked, um, data mined the game and discovered that we're going to be getting 10 more characters. 10 more characters will be coming to Mario Strikers um, Battle League. Bro, <coughs> I'm starting to realize why they call this game Battle League. After playing the demo, bro, Mario does his side smash um, in the game, bro. These tackles are brutal. We might as well be playing Mortal Kombat. And so it's good to see that the game will be getting, will be getting new characters. Ten more coming. One big missing character I've, I've seen the internet ask about is where is Daisy? Where is Daisy? She's not in the game. She's in Mario Tennis. She's in a, a lot of the other Mario sports games. So I can expect a couple of new additions um palatina i think she's in mario golf recently so i expect palatina to come to the game daisy and of course a couple other characters uh, from the mario uh, universe so 
10 more characters have been data line data mined so it looks like nintendo will be continuing to update this game give us more content as the game progresses which is dope which is dope which is dope as i said before the demo is currently out and i suggest you what well, the tutorial the full demo comes out june 3rd through 6th but go ahead and download the, the tutorial because even in the tutorial you're able to still get a good feel of the game you're able to play uh, matches as the, uh, the tutorial progresses so it's still pretty dope all right <coughs> this is pretty dope this next news item bro jedi knight star wars knights of the old republic 2 knights of the old republic 2 has been officially announced and coming to the switch next week next week that's right um june 8th i think yeah june 8th is the release date for this game on the switch um this is a remake of the 2004 game coming to the um, handheld console so if you're a fan of knights of the old republic definitely definitely pick this up june 8th right around the corner in approximately one week and a few days uh coming to the switch which i think is pretty pretty dope i might actually pick up this game i've never played knights of the old republic 2 i played the first game <coughs> but not the second game so it's dope 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 that the switch is in fact getting this game bro this next news item could be pretty big it looks like we could be getting a Sega Dreamcast Mini announcement this Friday, June 3rd. That's right. Um, this is from Kotaku.com. And they're, pro they're pointing to um, Yosuke Okunara. He's a producer at Sega. And he's been involved in uh, their retro releases, retro consoles. And he... Um, posted, um, I think it was 20, 2019, um, that um, Nintendo, that Sega w was um, possibly working on another retro console. And Sega is having a presentation this Friday. And within the tweet, the official announcement, an appearance by the same producer who said he was working on a um, retro console and it could possibly be the Dreamcast. He said that in 2019, um, his, um, Hiroyuki Miyazuke, which is, and Yosuke Okunaru, the same guy, will be at this presentation. So because the same guy that's been involved in this retro console will be at the presentation, everyone is saying we're finally going to get the Dreamcast Mini. And I really think this is going to happen. The Sega Dreamcast um, has been probably Sega's most coveted old school console. It was a commercial flop, but the for the short period it was on the market, <coughs> the Dreamcast did some impact. It had phenomenal games in many ways. It was ahead of its time. And so it looks like we're going to be getting a retro Sega Dreamcast console, which I think is dope, dope, dope. Earned. The last news item. I thought this was pretty interesting uh, coming from Square Enix. Square has gone on record to say that the HD 2D art style that they've been using recently <coughs> with a lot of Nintendo Switch games is actually pretty expensive to produce because immediately when you see 2d you're like oh this didn't take a lot of development resources but according to square enix it's more expensive to produce this art style than you think games like octopath traveler um um triangle strategy most recently live a, live a live live alive or live a live however you want to say it um this game is using that same art style and it looks dope i like the art style uh, it's just a unique 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 art style but this is coming directly from sega and i quote it's probably worth noting that it costs more than you think in that respect it's a good match for the titles want we want out for square enix did i say sega i meant square enix uh there might not be much to gain from other companies copying it uh, says asano um who works for 
um, um, for, for Square Enix. I don't know why I keep saying Sega because I was just talking about the Dreamcast. But uh, Live a Live um, does come out soon on the Switch and it's more expensive to create anything. Maybe, maybe they're just trying to justify the price point. I think these are full $60 games. Um, but games like Octopath Travel, I think, is worth it because it's a long, long, long campaign. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for today. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. Oh. Things, men, ten, though, we're out for you.